डॉक्टर प्रवीण मुंडे डीसीपी ट्रैफिक पुणे अ वेरी वॉम वेलकम टू ट्रैफिक एंड फिटेक एक्सपो सिंस दिस इज योर फर्स्ट विजिट टू दी एक्सपो आई रियली वॉन्ट टू नो वॉट ऑल हैव यू गेन फ्रॉम दी एक्सपो As far as traffic is concerned, specially, uh, I have looked at uh, one of the VMS system which is mounted on a small uh, kind of vehicle, uh, which is one thing which I would like to have in Pune at least at two locations. Because we keep on doing naka bandis or drunk and driving uh, drives and at all such places. If we can have that kind of system, that will be really uh, helpful for us. Okay, and uh, when it comes to Pune, there are some areas which are very easily accessible. But um, given the population that has been increasing in Pune for the last decade, uh, quite a few challenging areas have come up. So, how uh, are you managing it? What are the technologies you have deployed at the moment? Actually, considering the increasing population of vehicles in Pune city. we must have some system in place uh, and at the moment under smart city mission we are looking at adaptive traffic signal system because at the moment the signals we have are kind of isolated they are not connected to each other and they are just manually uh, we put some timings based on uh, our experience but we need to have a uh, syst- intelligent system in the form of adaptive traffic signal system uh, which can work far efficiently far more efficiently than the existing signal system so that the we don't have to keep on manually changing the times as per uh, i mean signal cycles and the timings for each of the roads uh, as per the demands as per new demands that should happen automatically because in traffic police also we don't have any experts as such then neither we have any counts on the basis of which we can uh, on day to day basis we can change it so that system if it comes in place which is likely to come under smart city mission that would be really uh, one thing which i am looking forward to and that would be very much helpful for the pune city traffic i uh, know this is uh, one thing that i have been uh, observing uh, when i talk to the uh, traffic police officers over the years not everybody is aware of what is happening in the field of technology because uh, you are posted every two or three years you posted from one um, position to the other from one department to the other so um, do you think that there ought to be some sort of an orientation uh, that ought to be given to a traffic a police officer given the burgeoning population one and the challenges that we are facing all over the world because there's been a push towards public transport all over the world so certainly the traffic situation is very very challenging everywhere so do, do, does it uh, do you think that some sort of orientation or a course or something would help definitely policing as far as police stations and law and order and crime is concerned it's all together a different uh, subject itself so we usually get training in those areas but traffic is one area where we don't get any formal kind of training so i it is a really good idea and in fact we give them some basic training when somebody comes from police station to a traffic uh, traffic department but there can be a better uh, better training and better technology orientation i mean whatever new things new technologies we can adopt as we uh, move into the traffic area so that can be definitely that, that is uh, rather that is advisable that uh, something the, the kind of expo we have held here these things are of help at least we get to know the new technologies and we can speak to the authorities higher authorities for procuring these things because they will be useful for traffic in any city dr munde can you tell me say some of the big achievements that traffic police of pune has been able to that it can be proud of in the last say 2 years or so uh, if, if you look at a number of cases drunk and driving we do we have been doing for last 2 3 years mm. there is sudden increase in these cases because we have increased the uh, you can say we have increased the surveillance on the drunk and drive we have we have targeted to to bring down the number of uh, traffic accidents and uh, fatalities so we have cracked down on the drunk and drivers and we have increased the number in multiples you can say the number this year 
would be like five times, five to ten times more than the last year's figures. So we have controlled drunken driving in Pune in a big way. That uh, that one thing I feel. Secondly, since Pune city has around twelve more than twelve hundred cameras, CCTV cam cameras installed by through government of uh, Maharashtra's initiative. By using those cameras, we are actually uh, giving chalans to people. Uh, I mean, I mean, taking out the pictures through cameras and sending the chalans to their homes. So that we have been doing for last uh, more than one and a half year. So that is also one of the thing. And uh, in coming year, we look forward to send the e chalans. I mean, without a person need to go to the house. Mm -hmm. Neither a post nor a person, policeman going to somebody's house. We look forward to have some system whereby person, we do not have to come one to one with anybody without facing, I mean the police to public interface should be done okay. away with and still we should be sending them chalas and they should be paying, paying to us. That is what is happening in Hyderabad. That's what I heard from additional commissioner of uh, uh, Addisons of Hyderabad. So that I look forward that should happen everywhere in all the cities. And what is the immediate uh, remedy that you are looking forward to? Uh, immediate step uh, in managing traffic that you're looking forward to. One you said about the VMS, but traffic signal system and hmm. this uh, VMS system which is there. So I would like to have at least five to ten of such systems in Pune uh, at the beginning. Okay. Later we can expand that also. So, uh, so um, if if I'm not wrong, uh, such sort of expos do pre uh, prove to be a good uh, platform for uh, picking up technologies from all over the world. Uh, do you? Uh, firstly, people uh, come to know about the technology. Only when we get to know about these technologies, we can ask the government and the authorities to procure them. So, this has definitely given us insight into the new technology, which will help us to use them in future and to ask for, for getting them in our cities in future. Your system. So we are happy that you will be taking away some of uh, the intelligence and uh, technology and solutions that is uh, that is available at Traffic Infotech Expo to Pune. And perhaps when you come to Pune next, we might be seeing some of these things installed there. So all the best and thank you so much for coming.